Bye. 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 Hi, my name is Jane Mara Bermejo, but you can call me Chow. I was a fine arts student here in CIT, uh, specializing in visual communication. Right now, I work as a multimedia artist in 7th Media. And I'm Mario Bermejo, uh, Bama, specializing in graphic design. And I'm currently a mid-multimedia artist at Tactile Studios. Me. <laughs> Just because I was um, alive, yeah. <laughs> alive before she was. My first recollection of art was just drawing with pencils. Um, our parents always made uh, pencil and paper available to us, so that was definitely something that we explored very early on, and that's my first um, recollection of art. We take paper from dad <laughs> because when we print stuff for work, ng mga documents, misa, umuwa na lang kami ng paper sa kanya. <laughs> so my part. So both of us, I think for sure. Me, <laughs> yes. Both. Yeah. Sequoia, Sequoia. Oh, uh, because um, I'm an observational artist, so I draw what I see. I am a still life and mga photographs. Whereas he, he's a conceptual artist, na he draws from concepts from his mind. Of course, um, may mga reference the pictures, pero. Ano mino merge niya to create like yung vision niya. So, ayan. Yeah, pero yung na yung ba? Yes. Chara, just like, um, because ato, ako yung bunso, so parang mas extra soft yung heart ni Dad sa akin. Something interesting about me is um, I've already held three workshops here dito sa CIIT. Though three of them are uh, no, portraiture workshops. Something interesting actually about all of us siblings um, is that we have an inclination towards art and music. So we all explore it to different degrees and uh, varying levels, but that's something that we all love and we all bond with. I've always had the interest in painting and drawing and um, at first I didn't even know it was possible na to take on art as a college degree even though yung mga previous namin, mga, ang mga sisters and brothers namin, puro art din, I just didn't see myself ano, being able to ano, pursue this career but ayun, uh, thankfully for CIIT na the come true, the come true, the come true yung dream ko na I pursue yung arts. So I, I'm thankful for CIIT. So for me, I first stumbled across the possibility of pursuing uh, graphic design in particular because of our older sister who took it in college before us. So that was like a new branch of visual art that I hadn't considered before. So it's just seeing her work, her outputs, it definitely inspired me and it was something that I could explore. And yeah, it all started from there. It honestly wasn't that hard, like what we mentioned, yung mga kapatid namin before us. Kasi kami yung last two sa um, five na makakapatid. So our um, older siblings, they all took on a career in art. So may graphic design, interior design, and fashion design. So it wasn't really hard to not even convince our parents, but and it wasn't hard to let them know that we also want to pursue art as a career. And it was more just letting them know that the uh, fields that we wanted to pursue was definitely something that we wanted to pursue. So yeah, it was just a matter of letting them know that, yeah, this is what we want to pursue and that they gave us their full support. I've been doing art for as long as I can remember, as in super bata pa lang, because I believe it's highly influenced sa mga kapatid ko na nagda-drawing rin or nagpipaint. So, I guess at a young age, uh, gaya gaya lang ako, nakiki drawing rin ako, and I had access to their materials. So, while they're drawing, nasa corner lang din ako, ganun ganun ng mga drawings. But I realized na 
uh, it was actually something that I liked personally. Um, the older I got, and parang I was leaning more towards portraiture na or like the anatomy of like the human form. So, ayun, it was just a matter of time na I realized ko na this is actually something that I want and hindi lang siya influence sa uh, uh, environment ko na nagdo drawing and painting din. Well, for us growing up, we've always been exposed to like cartoons and animations like uh, Bugs Life and the Toy Story. And like I think as kids, we just like to imitate what we see. So we had this inclination to sort of imitate the media that we were exposed to. So as a young kid, I remember exploring 3D Max and our really, really old computer. And then just instead of outside playing, I was playing with 3D Max. So <laughs> from an early age, it was just something that I had access to explore. Yeah, I just explored it and it, it felt natural to me. And it was something that I naturally gravitated towards. So I just leaned into that. Uh, for me, I believe I'll always be a traditional girl. <laughs> traditional girl? The, more onto the traditional arts, um, where it's like wet mediums, dry mediums. I really love ano, yung parang the tangibility of it. You, know, you, you get dirty, you get your hands dirty, and while you work. But of course, now that I'm a working individual, I don't have a lot of time to create um, my traditional art. So, uh, I've been doing a lot of digital art lately, pero I know in my heart that traditional art talaga. For me, I've started to gravitate towards digital uh, in the past few years, and just because of the convenience of it, the flexibility, um, I'm able to work pretty much anywhere if I just have a the uh, appropriate device to do digital work. But traditional medium is something that I personally started with, and feel that it's something that I should never give up. So every year I just, I try to delve into traditional mediums. I'm in a bit of a traditional renaissance and um, dabbled with paints again. But yeah, it's something that I feel like as artists, we should never give up, but I'm definitely working more uh, digital these past few years. Um. His art, because um, like I mentioned earlier, conceptual artist. Siya. I want to incorporate um, that into my art, and ang gaganda talaga ng mga compositions niya, especially ano color choices. So um, lahat ng factor na yun gusto ko siya i apply sa work ko, and you know his work uh, makes me want to do better. Then, well, for me, Chow's technicality and her excellence in her technical skills definitely pushes me. She's almost like a standard for me. Um, I'll ask her if some things are um, up to point or if she, if there's anything that she thinks that um, I can improve on. So definitely she keeps me um, in tip-top shape in terms of technicality and she definitely pushes me to try harder in that aspect. For me, it's more on exploring what I can do with art. Before I got into um, realism or like hyperrealism, actually, I was doing details. For example, hair shading. But si Kuya actually yung nag push sa akin para ipush yung boundaries ko. Um, before yung pag sa hair, parang shading lang siya, wala siyang mga hibla. Pero si Kuya yung nagsabi sa akin na. Um, try mo lagyan ng hibla, tapos nag-demonstrate pa siya sa akin. And I guess we really just need someone to guide us or to tell us that, you know, there's nothing to be afraid of. And for me, si Kuya yun. Well, for me personally, I have a great many fears and insecurities, but art is definitely not one of them. <laughs> so I've never feared doing art. Well, for us, it was more of, um, it was the most sensible and feasible thing for us, both financially and location-wise. So it's actually our parents who picked this out for us. But when we re revisited the campus, we did feel that it was a place that uh, was safe and as well as a place for us where we were able to explore our creativity and, and artistry. There are very many I know, memorable moments. I think all CI citizens could relate to sleeping on the seventh floor, <laughs> some bleachers, 
and yung mga ano deadline na 11:59 pero like sinasubmit mo 11:58 ganyan so those are the uh, small things that are ano memorable but for me yung pinaka memorable is yung dalawang uh, field trips namin sa ano sa isang class namin which is yung sa Nino Aquino um, Park and sa Gateway um, what's it exhibit ayod for me personally it's um, late night classes so you know, very few students at that time were taking the uh, classes that ended up at like 9 p.m. So just those night classes where everything just feels so quiet, the world has seemed to have gone asleep, but we're still there, you know, hustling our class. So it was just nice and peaceful, and it felt like we were in our own little world. So I mentioned earlier that I'm a multimedia artist in seventh media. And um, the things that I learned here in school, pag use ng Adobe Suite, ayun, nagagamit ka talaga sa works, Photoshop and Illustrator. Ayun yung pinaka main na uh, software na ginagamit namin sa work ngayon. And I'm thankful sa CIIT na, you know, they were able to impart that knowledge to me. Kaya transitioning to the work lifestyle, it, it, it wasn't much of a, um adjustment in terms of like, the workload, pero yung ano, ov overtime and yung ano, uh, strict deadlines, dun ako na nibago. But then, in terms of like, yung, yung, yung mga skills na kailangan, CIIT was able to give that to us. Yeah, on a similar note, I was able to explore things that I normally wouldn't have. So, going into the work workplace, it definitely gave me confidence knowing that some of the things that I had to do, I had previously done in college, so it didn't feel as scary. So when I approached, I'm like, okay, I've done this in college before. So, you know, I, I should have some confidence. <laughs> so this is titled Blank Canvas, and this is my love letter to traditional medium. So every year I try to create at least one artwork with a traditional medium. So I titled this Blank Canvas as sort of um, exploring the fact that we ourselves are our own canvas to some extent, whether that's consciously or subconsciously. I won't delve on further on what this personally means to me, but that's the beauty in our self-expression, whether that's in art or ourselves, our own canvas, that it's up to interpretation. And we always leave clues as to what it is, but yeah, I think that's the fun part. It's all up to interpretation and yeah, it's it's also fun to use ourselves as our canvas. Definitely a lot of fun as well. Tayo naman yung pinaka um readily available na um models natin. Yes. And that's why artists then um tend to create a lot of self portraits. Tayo rin yung ano pinaka available na model natin <laughs> as art. So we'll yes. So for me, uh, it's this artwork right here and uh I also realized in the session uh, as an artist, I have a self-portrait every year. And this self-portrait, I believe, is in 2018 or 2019. Ayan. And um, for this self-portrait, uh, the reason why it holds a special place in my heart and is my current um, favorite na self portrait ko. Because before this self-portrait, I've never done anything like it na self portrait ko. My previous self portraits were just very, I know, straight out, straightforward. You know, drawing ng nakaganan lang, and uh, drawn in pencil or um, charcoal, black and white, and then means watercolor. Pero very plain lang. This self portrait uh, portrays my growth as an artist. If mapapansin yung may mga floating objects sa face ko na. Uh, parang grayscale ako, pero yung mga floating objects, they show color on my face. It, it's just to signify na, you know, I started up as a pencil artist na puro grayscale lang, but, you know, as I evolve as an artist, uh, colors are being incorporated sa mga work ko. And sa lower portion ng artwork is my eyes. Um, I included my eyes because it's one of the most, I know, precious na, I know, features of myself because without my eyes, I won't be able to create the art that I make.
Well, I would say if the opportunity is there and if you have access to resources, I would highly encourage you to pursue something within the realm of your passion. Uh, now that we've been doing it um, for work, it's definitely a different thing to doing it as a hobby or doing it out of your passion. It's incredibly difficult and challenging, but I think that because I love the medium itself, it's what keeps me going and it helps me strive for excellence. And I think that that's what makes me effective as someone who works in the industry now, because I love the medium at its core. So even though it's difficult, it's the one thing that keeps me going. Copy paste, <laughs> joke <laughs> class. But if I'm going to aside sa advice, niya, which is I totally agree with, is um, if you aren't given the opportunity, because the advice, niya, if the opportunity is there, um, then grab it. But then for me, if the opportunity isn't there yet, ano, find what you can learn in your situation ngayon, or find your opportunity ayun. So, uh, wag kang matakot if you're not where you are. It's okay to be disappointed or sad, pero I I'm so sure. I'm so sure na marami ka pa rin matututunan, matututunan <laughs> sa kung saan ka ngayon. Uh, you have a lot of time. You have a lot of time but to reach your actual goal. So where you are now, try to find where you can grow, if there's new things you can learn, new skills. And um, in time, makukuha mo rin yung gusto mo. So, ayun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. Yes, we enjoyed so much. <laughs> Alright, thank you.